Hi, Kevin here. Nice to see you again. Well, strawberries are in season, so today I wanted to show you how to make a very simple and very delicious strawberry cake. Now, I'm feeling lazy, so I'm going to mix the batter in my little food processor. All right, for the strawberry component, you will need one pound of fresh strawberries. These are actually local strawberries that I purchased this morning. So that's one pound, and I will be hulling and slicing these lengthwise in half. We'll also need four tablespoons of butter, which I will be melting in the microwave, and one third cup of regular sugar. And for the batter, you will need one stick, that's 113 grams, of unsalted butter softened to room temperature, one cup of regular sugar, a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, hi tiger, that's my cat meowing, two large eggs, a pinch of salt, the grated zest of a lemon, and one and one-third cups of self-rising flour. I buy self-rising flour in a bag like this and I store it in my freezer. And what you want to do is sift the flour first and then measure it. And that, again, that's one and one-third cups. You will also need a half cup of whole milk. Okay, so here are my strawberries. I hold them and then cut them lengthwise in half. And here's the melted butter. And again, that was four tablespoons. What you do is just pour this into the baking dish. This is a seven and a half by 12 baking dish, but an eight by 12 dish would work. Probably even a nine by 13 baking dish would work. Although you may have to use a few more strawberries. And then, after you've added the butter, arrange the strawberry slices cut side up in one layer. Yeah, I saw someone make a similar cake on YouTube. I think it was Phyllis Stokes. And oh, it looked so good. This cake is actually unmolded after it bakes. So it's really a strawberry upside down cake. Well, I will finish arranging the strawberries and then I'll come right back. All right, the strawberries are in position. And again, you want to do this in one layer and with the cut side up. And then sprinkle the berries with the one third cup of sugar. Yeah, this is going to be a very delicious cake. And it's going to come together really easily. Okay, now we can move on to the batter. Yeah, so this is my little eight cup black and decker food processor that I paid $37 for on Amazon. And it does everything that my $300 12 cup Cuisinart food processor can do. And in fact, I think it does an even better job than the Cuisinart. Okay, and the first thing we're going to add is the 113 grams or one stick of softened butter. Yeah, I took this butter out of the refrigerator last night, so it is definitely, definitely softened to room temperature. Then we're going to add the one cup of regular sugar. And a pinch of salt. salt will help to bring out the flavors of the other ingredients. 
and we're going to add the teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. This is my own homemade extract. Yeah, exactly one teaspoon. And then we're going to cream the butter and the sugar together. Uh, in a regular mixer, creaming butter and sugar takes minimum two minutes. This is going to take just a matter of seconds. So please cover your ears because it's going to be very loud. We are creamed. Now I'm going to add two eggs. That's my oven telling me that it has achieved 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. I'm also going to add the grated zest of the lemon. Lemon and strawberry is a really good combination. Then on with the lid. I'm going to mix this, oh, just for a few seconds. Now we have to add the flour and the milk uh, in alternate additions. So I'm going to start with one, the one-third cup of self-rising flour and about half of the milk. And again, this was a half cup, so I'm going to add a quarter cup of the milk. Beat this. Actually, I'm going to pulse this. more flour. That was one and one-third cups of self-rising flour in total. And the remaining milk. Now I'm pulsing the machine rather than letting it run because you don't want to overmix when you add the flour. And I can add the remaining self-rising flour. And you just want to pulse until the flour disappears into the batter. Good to go. Okay, now pour the batter over the strawberries. Oh, this is nice and thick. Yeah, if you've never made cake batter in a food processor, well, Maybe you're missing out on something. Grab a spatula. We get all this goodness off the blade. And out of the work bowl. And you really want to cover all of the strawberries as best you can. Spread this out. Again, trying to cover all of the strawberries. OK. 
Okay, we're good. And then this cake goes into the preheated 350 degree oven until the berries are cooked and the cake is just springy to the touch. That's going to take about 30 or 35 minutes. So we'll come back. And here is the cake straight out of the oven. It's still bubbling because it's really hot. But as you can see, the batter puffed up beautifully and it browned here and there. So it looks really attractive on top. However, I will be flipping this cake uh, as soon as it cools down just a little. And now we have a dilemma on what to invert the cake. So I have a small baking sheet here that I lined with parchment paper and it just fits perfectly over the baking dish and it should be easy to invert the cake. And then I have this infinitely better looking uh, serving tray and it fits but it's going to be a little awkward when I try to unmold it. And since I'm filming the video, I think I'm going to take the less attractive route and use this baking sheet. And you do want to unmold this cake while it is still hot because if you let it cool, well, the strawberries will stick to the bottom of the pan. So here we go, parchment lined baking tray. Okay, wish me luck. Yeah, this baking sheet is really hot. Oh. Okay, well my side collapsed when I was flipping it, but that's okay, it's not bad. Oh, this looks really pretty. Oh, and by the way, I forgot, I was supposed to run a knife all around the edge of the cake before I unmolded it. Too late now, but be sure to run the knife around your cake before you unmold it, all right? It's time for a taste. So I've already cut myself a square of the cake, and then I'm going to garnish it with some mascarpone. Just a dollop. Wonderful. Okay, you guys, this is not just good, it is beyond delicious. I'm going to have another little bite. Absolute perfection. So, I hope you'll give this very simple cake a try. It's lemony and the strawberry flavor is very pronounced. The cake is moist and light and a little crumbly. It's just, it's perfection, all right? Yeah, give it a try. I will post the list of ingredients in the description box below. And then I will also post a printable recipe over on my website and I will put that link below. So. Please give it a try and please post a comment because I love to hear from you. And please subscribe if you haven't already and tap the little bell icon to receive notifications. And I will see you very soon with another delicious recipe. Okay? Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.